All right, so for those of you who don't know, this is Ben Shapiro's sister, and her page is called Classically Abby or something like that. And this video is entitled Men Stop Hooking Up, right? Because she's a real conservative person. I think she said she was a virgin until she was married. And I'm just curious as to what information she gives us men on the hookup culture um if you all want to see the video where she said the same thing to women put it in the comment section but let's get to it hello classic crew and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about why men should stop hooking up I did a video entitled, Ladies, Stop Hooking Up, a few months ago. After making that video, many angry people said that I had different standards for men and for women. That I thought men could sleep around while women should wait. Here's the deal. Both men and women should stop hooking up. Honestly, if everyone could just wait until they got married, the world would be a much better place. Okay, with that, that statement there, we're going to have our first pause. Um... Just like I don't think everybody should be a hoe, I don't think everybody should be married. Uh, pe like, if you be enter the whole life arena, and it's not you're not built for it, it can you know, you know, for lack of a better word, destroy you. It could you know damage you you know emotionally, mentally, physically. Etc. You could end up in a lot of places or situations you don't want to be in. But on the other side, if you enter into a monogamous situation, you could end up damaging someone else. So I, I think we need to do more of a balanced approach, right? Because it seems that we're either telling everybody, hey, you need to get married, or we're telling everybody, hey, you need to be a hoe. That's what your 20s are for. Like it's, there has to be more of subtlety to the to the subject we seem to want everybody to do either one or the other for some reason i just i just don't understand it you can't fix the problem with everybody doing one thing now the only thing i think of on top of my head that would give credibility to what she said is um if everybody was to wait till marriage you would i would i personally would assume that there is a lot of um structure within the um society a lot of you know t you know tight-knit family so on and so forth but this is america we know that ain't gonna happen so i go to my original point which is people have to kind of figure out what is best for them without committing or jumping right into either or so men here's my advice to you stop hooking up in many ways, not hooking up is harder for men, and it's a lot harder to get across to them why it's bad for them. There are okay, so here's the thing where she, she just said it's harder for men to not hook up. I don't like this idea that we're, the, we're like the group that can't control themselves. Bruh, like, dude, get on Twitter. I know the internet is a concentrated place of anything you want to see, but still, I tell, I beg you, get on Twitter. They they are the the demeanor they have about hooking up, the demeanor they have about abortions, the demeanor they have about not having any self disciplines discipline at all. And, and another, uh, secondly, yet again, uh, uh, her being a woman, it seems like she can only think about or mention the guys who I guess all the women want. There are plenty of guys who struggle hooking up so i don't maybe she's solely talking about choice if you have the ability but as since we have do have that possibility let's just let it slide and keep going appear to be only positives and upsides to it because the immediate negative consequences aren't as obvious but just because you can have sex in a way that seems like it's carefree doesn't mean that's actually the case you might that is an excellent point. I thought I did a video, but then I like somehow lost it before I uploaded it. So you didn't see it. 
But there was a lady who, um, she she hooked up with her daughter's friend. Her daughter's fourteen, and I think the boy was fifteen, and she hooked up with him. And I think she basically just got off, right? Even though she admitted. And a guy in the comment section was was saying that, oh, it's not even that big a deal. Like the boy, like if it was a girl, then yeah, she would have definitely had some some mental something and that's why men get you know get cases and long sentences but a boy would have just had a good story to tell that's it nothing more and it's like dude like i had i had a back and forth with him it didn't go anywhere but it's like okay so the boy having sex with an older woman at 15 well if it's wrong the other way around you don't think the boy that would cause him to think, hey, I mean, shit, I was all right. This girl would be all right, too. Shit, I was 15 with an older person. Her 15 with an older person, what's the problem? How do you know that won't come or that way of thinking won't come from that? But because, you know, he'll have a, a story to tell. Oh, well, it's okay. Well, what about the case situations where the woman got pregnant? And now the boy is on the hook for being a father when... He was simply going along with the activities of an adult. But there, there are, he does have his consequences now, doesn't he? So, excellent point where she says, just because you don't see the consequences doesn't mean they're not there. And the reason that we don't see a lot of consequences is because we don't want to. We don't want to look for them. Think that you'll have street cred if you sleep with a certain number of women. That's a bunch of lies. First of all, well, you actually will have street cred, so that part wasn't a lie. Well, sleeping with a certain number of women to prove to your male friends that you can keep up is a useless endeavor. The same guys who care or would be impressed with your number are the same guys who don't deserve your respect in the first place. And okay, I know she thinks she put that in an amazing way for, for people to understand and go, wow. But she did it. Right? If you're keeping up with your peers... And they're praising you, and uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have the respect, want their respect, and you guys again, you guys are friends, assume, no, assume to assume it. So saying that they don't deserve your respect, you you, you didn't get anywhere with this statement. I I don't understand why people say this stuff and don't even think about it. This was a planned video. She doesn't do her off the hit. She actually does the proper work and. Not unlike me, actually has a script that go by or at least bu bulletin points. So she actually pre-planned that thought and thought it was just two thumbs up. No, you're you you did nothing. At the end of the day, it won't make people like you. It will rot your relationships and poison your friendships. I, she's right, but then it's like, what is she right about? Yes, there are some people who won't. There, there may be a lot of people who don't like you, depending on the lifestyle you live, and according, you know, in regards of your sex life. Will a lot of women like you? Uh, it really depends on the moment. You know, some of them will drop off, but you have still some texting you. What are the quality of those women? So on and so forth. So that that part is a little up in the air and debatable. The guys that high five you now, I said, assume that your friends, well, some of them, at least one, two, are going to be like, fucking hate this guy. I ain't got no pussy in two years. This guy gives them every other night. Fuck this. Like, you, you, you know, it's, you know, I guess she's right. Eh, it's, yeah, it really depends on what you're talking about. Being confident in who you are, personable, fun, and charming will make you cooler and more popular than any number of women that you sleep with would. Second, a good woman would love to be with a man who saved himself for marriage and for her. She Here's my problem. The same way she's used a good woman. Everybody, every, when these people say good woman, good man, real man, real woman, they're talking about themselves. So when you're trying to convince viewers, hundreds of thousands of them, hey, th this is what is correct. Me. It's like, no, fuck you. What the, 
You don't get people, at least me, you can't get me on board with something by saying something you like. That doesn't make it right. I, I hate I hate when people take that position. I hate it. You will know that you take sex seriously enough to wait for the right person. There's a male fear that if you're a virgin, it would indicate that you have no appeal or that you're bad at sex. Uh, it really it really depends on who you talk to. Uh, you got again, she's not she's very few. Women who are still young and attractive waiting for marriage and apparently I think her I don't I don't think her husband's rich. That that, that is very few. Like if you tell an average chick, yo, say yourself for a good guy who also does the same thing. That's work, dude. Sustaining from anything is work. It's mental work. You have to actually work at it. Do it. So, I mean, you look at a lot of these panels. If the dude ain't top notch, top of the world, king, pounding his chest, even something is like staying in shape. A lot of women is like, nigga, for who? Fuck y'all. Get this. Get this fupa. Fuck you. So when you you talking about abstinence, save save your sexual self for this one guy, they're like, what? What if it sucks? They're, the, learning sex as you go with one partner and for the rest of your life? A lot of people look at that and go, ew, ugh, hell no. Because there's no guarantee to it. Like if you in whole life, you can guarantee you'll come across a handful of partners at least, and it'd be fucking awesome. But can you guarantee her that when whatever dude she settles down with, that the sex is actually going to be good? That's not the way it works. A woman won't think that no woman would sleep with you. She will think that you had options and still made the harder choice. Good. Again, if you're one of the top-notch dudes, yes. But if you're an average Joe, she's going to look at you and go, ah, I can see why. Good women want a good man. And there's no status with that. She can't walk into a room or talk to her friend and say, yes, me and my husband saved ourselves for each other. And then her friends know her husband is and go, for that guy? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Save yourself for a 5'4 standing, no six-pack having, uh, 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 you know, working at the plant making $18, 20 an hour. You save yourself for that guy? All right. Yes, whatever. And if you're confident in your choice to wait until marriage, it will only reflect well on you. Plus, when you get married, now you get to learn how to have sex together. And that's a beautiful opportunity for you both. Who are you talking to? That's the question. Who are you directing this message to? Is the question. Yes, learn learning it on on at whose pace. You got to factor this in. You got to factor this in, especially when you got TV all over the place. Most people, like ninety percent of people, learn about sex either from TV or. You know, some social networking or friends. Very few people actually learn about sex from like people they, the adults they know or something like that. So you got the pressure there and then the constant flashes of it, like learning it as you go and not jumping right into the good shit. It's not appealing to a lot of people. And hopefully, since you'll be married your whole lives, you'll have plenty of time to figure out how to have a great sex life. Third, having multiple partners before marriage does not add to your relationship. It opens the door to comparisons, jealousies, and other drama, especially if one or both of the partners has a history of no-strings-attached hookups. Now we're there. <laughs> now we're there. So, uh, ladies... Ladies, you know that thing that y'all always say? Well, I won't say always, but say quite a bit. 
A dude only cares about your body count if his dick is small and or whack. It can never be, hey, you might be this, right? Never, never. It's always because it's whack. And that's going to be the idea of it. So when it comes to men hooking up, that kind of goes right into what I, that kind of goes against what she was saying. That's so that look at how you look at it when he doesn't want when when look how women look at it when he doesn't want someone with several partners. That's how they that's how they're going to use that as a judgment towards him. Oh, this dude is inexperienced. This dude is totally trash. And then in this day and age, you don't have that many people who work in service with themselves to go around. And again. She said they're not, um, it doesn't bring anything to your relationship. And as a lot of people say experience. I really don't understand that, but a lot of people say experience. But you got to look at how a lot of people look at it. A lot of people feel like you're supposed to, anytime you get a new partner, it's start off with a clean slate and just pretend or ignore all the other shit. I, just the thought of it. So, again, her points may be valid. But you're dealing with America. And even though those feelings can be dealt with, it's easier when they're not there to begin with. You might think there won't be any consequences regarding pregnancy if you sleep with someone because, hey, you're a man. Guess what? You are responsible for the child that you helped to create. No, I'm not. No, I'm fucking not. That's her body, her choice, her goddamn baby. Even if you're not the one that she can throw in a dumpster and I won't call anybody. One carrying it. And that child will change the course of your life. And choosing to end that child's life through abortion is not a solution. You will still carry the death of your unborn child with you. Taking the life of your own child so that you can continue to sleep around promiscuously is a horrific way to live. You might think that you won't catch feelings if you sleep around. Even if you don't catch feelings. Yo, this, that reminds me. I, I heard this thing of... I know she's talking about men hooking up, but I've I've only heard this from women, so I'm bringing this up now. But this idea, I've I've heard quite a few different uh, stories from women about their virginity thing, but this this takes the fucking cake. I've had a cup, at least a couple women, either directly to me or I've heard it in passing, to where they would say they they purposely lost their virginity. To a dude they knew wasn't shit, so they wouldn't be like locked onto him emotionally. First of all, why do you want to shred yourself of your first partner so badly? Why, why is a virgin human thinking to themselves, I need to make sure I lose it to somebody who ain't shit so I don't get attached? Yo. You're voluntarily ridding yourself of this bonding element and see nothing wrong with it. And where is the state of I of perception of sex to where you get girls who are in high school who say you get the idea I must lose my virginity to someone who ain't shit. I, I honestly think it's an excuse. A chick I dated, she said she did. That's what happened with her baby daddy. The fuck are you talking about? You just said you lost your virginity to him so you wouldn't get attached. But he's your baby daddy. You moron. Moving on. Feelings. You're training yourself to think of sex as no more than a physical act. Mm -hmm. You are training yourself to view it as eating or going to the bathroom or any other physical need you just have to fulfill. You are losing all of the more important and beautiful aspects of being intimate. Also Look at what she just said. Now, both sides can use this and gauge their partners. The fact if you only view it as in as just as an act. First of all, you remove the whole, well, you, this must be in place, that must, you remove that. And also, now, 
there's less trust there. I don't give a fuck how good the, the sex is between you two. You remove the trust. Because since it's just simply an act and nothing else is attached to it, how, what's, what's, you remove that element of it shouldn't be shared with anyone else while you're with someone. So, you do cheapen it. So, you are sleeping with another person, and it's not all about you. You might be leading this woman on or giving her the wrong idea, and that's just plain wrong. You might think that you just like sex, and you... No, they give themselves the wrong idea. They give themselves the wrong idea. You can tell a chick all day, hey, um, fuck your feelings like your brother says, this ain't nothing. This ain't no relationship, nothing. They will still try their best to get pregnant. I want to do it no matter what. STDs, pregnancy scares, hurting women who actually care about you, treating sex like a compulsion, and losing out on the opportunity to meet the right woman is... Well, sex is a compulsion. Um, and eh, you can kind of sort of maybe miss out on the right woman, depending on how, how timing lines up. So that's really up in the air. And I was going to respond to something, and I immediately forgot it once she got to her second point. Isn't fun. Hooking up is wasting your time. It's like endlessly scrolling on Twitter, swiping on Tinder, or playing video games mindlessly for hours on end. You are titillating yourself for the surge of dopamine that takes meaning out of your life. Let's be honest. Getting married is one of the most important choices you can make in your life. Uh, uh, as a black man, I probably shouldn't even, after this point, you fuck, you care about the video. We really, we don't marry. Like, I think we're the least married group in America. And America already is, like, not a marrying place. So, uh. It sets you on the path of meaning. It's vindicating to love and be loved by someone who you would give everything to and who would do the same for you. People think of marriage as something for the future. Listen to what she describes, though, as a marriage, though. She described literally two people who work together, like, meaningfully, right? We have taken meaning out of everything. But it's more specifically here, sex, since that's the topic. We, like, the question that, I, that, I, that has been asked, you know, quite a few times is, is sex overrated? And... There's, there's always that one person that's just like, man, what are you talking about? Like, if you think sex is overrated, you just having trash sex, uh, 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 which kind of proves the point. The fact that you don't think anybody can overvalue sex, that it, it kind of proves the point that it's overrated. Sometimes, sometimes, but we have removed the self-discipline, the meaning, everything from everything. Just to make everything freaking fun. Some there has to be some discipline, some structure, some consistency, somewhere. But we just oh everything's fun. Again, I can never get over the fact that Judge Lynn Toler introduced the phrase. Well, I'm not sure if she introduced it, but she made it popular for me. That's what your twenties is for, and it's like. No, it's, no, it's not. And the structure that we have in America, still, your 20s should be for mastering what you just learned, either in right out of high school, vocational school, uh, uh, college, whatever it is. That's what your 20s should be for. And not saying that there shouldn't be any fun in it, but in, in increments. But no. We teach this lesson of, hey, go and do whatever you want, because if that's what your 20s is for. All right. They say they're too selfish to get married or too immature or they're just not ready for such a huge commitment. You may have used these excuses yourself or you've definitely heard a friend say them. But here's the truth. You don't. All right, before you get into that, but that's actually true. A lot of people, even if you want to say that, Take, take, subtract the people who are like that naturally, right? Let's just take them off the table. 
there are a lot of people who, even though they may not be like that naturally, they weren't raised to actually be able to work with another person. So that person getting married is, like I said before, it's quite harmful to the other person. People, like I said, especially today, are not raised to to work with another person long term. They're only they're only good at even if that working with someone to get their needs. That's it. And speaking more specifically about sex, they can only really work with someone um, long enough to get their rocks off. And then it's like, fuck you still here for? Why are you even bro the condoms in the toilet? The Uber should be on outside right now. Flip a switch that tells you that you're ready to get married. You don't flip a switch at 30 or when you've slept with a certain number of women or at any other life milestone and know that it's time for you to settle down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I know we like, I, listen, I and I understand where you come from with this, but we have this idea of, oh, men and women bodies act different towards sex, which I, obviously. Obviously, right? Some people get that one people get pregnant, the other people don't. You know, in other examples that you can tell yourself, right? But when you develop a certain habit, when you develop a certain habit, it's hard to it, snap out of that. That's why a lot of times I've always made the case, well, people really generally, well, men and anyway, have always made the case of. You're, you want to get married to the dude who's a womanizer and then wonder, you know, years, decades later, like, damn, he cheated on me the whole time? Yeah. It's who he is. It's, it, it doesn't make sense. You, people, whatever you practice, that's what you're mastering. That is what you're mastering. If you do nothing but waste time, like she alluded to earlier, that's what you master. If you need, if you are trying to learn a new skill, but yet you stay playing the game and don't ever open that book, open that laptop, whatever it is, you are not mastering whatever skill it is. You are mastering playing the game. Your own mentality and the choices that you make are the only things that can prepare you to get married. You have to take the steps to make you capable of marriage. And that starts with stopping hooking up. Because hooking up doesn't just stop you from moving forward. Okay, she said that starts with stopping hooking up. So before she said that, I thought she was going to go like like farther, like your parents preparing you. But it's relevant that she starts with where she did. Okay, um, how plausible is that? And then, well, she might get to it, so I probably should let it play, but does this now mean that if people want um, structure, meaning all that stuff, how many people are really going to forego, what, again, what, what they've been practicing and go out and, and, and now just, oh, well, I'm celibate until, which is such such a cliche. It's hard to believe uh, uh, when you when you see. Well, I only see women do it, but it's hard to believe. It's like, oh, I'm celibate. It's like for what a week. Like, stop. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's not really something that's plausible, right? I think the only way a, a dude would stop hooking up, who's used to hooking up, he would have to move right into a sex open relationship. Because I don't, I don't think he's gonna have that discipline. A young twenty year old is gonna have too much testosterone. He's ready to rape, waiting, just pump something out every minute of the day. And a dude in his thirties is so set in that way is like, hey, if it ain't if it ain't there in the first, let's just go with the ninety day period. He's like, all right, deuces. I, don't, I ain't with this, so I don't see it. It actively moves you back. Now here's the thing. Sex is awesome. I can say that as a married woman. But sex before marriage sucks. Even if you want to say it's fun, 
It means nothing, leads to nothing, and prolongs those relationships that don't have a future. Having sex before marriage is irresponsible and sad. Don't lose out on the women who... Ooh, whoa, ooh. Sad. Is it sad, though? Is it sad? I... Again, I think she's speaking from a place where you're you're absolutely going to have a family and kids, right? And I'm not speaking from that place because again, I don't I don't think everybody should yet again. So I can't I can't agree with her on that point and say it's sad. Um, again, I just I just think you have to think about the practice itself. You know what I mean? Are you practicing no self discipline at all? It's that sad. Right. I would agree with that as opposed to simply having sex without the marriage. Right. Because, again, personally, I think marriage is all in the law now because it's too much. It's too governmentized. So I don't really, you know, as long as you have a committed relationship, I'll I'll I'll, I'll personally accept that it's like your your personal marriage or whatever might actually have a future with by casually sleeping with the women who, you know, are not right for you. Don't lose out on what sex can really mean to you by bringing sex to its basest level. The more you treat sex like another bodily need, the more difficult it will be for you to turn it into something more when you really love someone. Some feminists say that women should act more like men and hook up in the same way that men do. But here's the truth. Men should act more like women. Treat sex with the respect it deserves. Don't waste your time sleeping. Whoa. When the fuck do y'all treat sex with respect? It's, get out of here. What are you talking about? Y'all don't treat... What, really, Abby? Y'all might have treated it like that back in 1902. Maybe. Oh, so, so, okay, Abby. Moving on. Sleeping around and treating sex like it's just another bodily need. Don't waste your time sleeping around instead of finding someone to spend your life with and actually moving your life forward. Don't waste your time sleeping around and becoming a stagnant version of yourself who doesn't grow or change, but instead stays treating sex like a cool new toy instead of a God-given gift. Marriage doesn't just happen to you. It's something you build your life towards and prepare yourself for. And when something as great as marriage is waiting for you, you want to start making yourself ready as soon as possible. So if you actually want to be a good man and have a good relationship, stop hooking up. And be the kind of man that any woman would want as a husband. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and blog if you haven't already. Head up. Awesome. I can say that as a married woman. But sex to nothing and prolongs those relationships. Don't lose out on the women who you might can really hear the truth. Men should act more like women. Treat sex with the respect it deserves. Don't waste your time sleeping around and treating sex like it's just another bodily need. Don't waste your time sleeping around. I was trying to find this part that I wanted to respond to, but um, I'm going to cut it off right there. And actually... I am going to respond to her uh, women stop hooking up video because I want to see how she originally approached it when it was directed towards uh, uh, women. And before I close the video out, I just want to say um, I saw her re slight review on, on the Cardi B's WAP song. She only spent like two minutes on it before she moved to another topic. But in that video... The fact that she only, even though she only spent two minutes on it and then like 10 minutes on other topics, women in the comment section focus solely on that. And you will realize a trend in her videos with the comment section because she leaves them all on, on open. She gets a lot of hate from women, which is crazy. All she's saying, it, I, and, and to be fair, she every now and again, she'll say something you feel like a shave, like she, she, she took it out jab at somebody, but... For the most part, the, her whole classic thing, all she's saying is, hey, be, you know, conservative. Be more, you know, not out there like that. Be more self-disciplined. Be more, you know, not, you know, it, it, so available, for lack of a better term. It, she gets hate for it. Like it, it, and it feeds back. I I I, 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 I listen to those. I read those comments, and it further just, just not justifies or proves that 
Men ain't the ones who oppress women. It's, it's y'all. Y'all do it. I'm not saying there are no men who like 0%, but for the most part, it's y'all. Y'all bring each other down. It's not us. You would get like maybe a couple shady guys out of the bunch that want to talk shit to women. And I'm actually going to do a video on, on that one too because some other shit I saw on another uh, Instagram. But like, like most of her like comments, hold on, let's even... Let's 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 go look at the comment section. Let's go look at it. I guess I guess there is only waiting for marriage and constantly hooking up with randoms, no in between. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I might be on the wrong video since this one's just geared towards men. I might have to wait until I get to the woman's. Yeah, because it's Charlotte. Okay, atheist. Yeah, it's a lot of guys actually in this comment section. But, yeah, I'm going to uh, uh, show you in the next one. Whereas, again, ladies, this is all y'all. Y'all will, uh, any, uh, if a woman is not preaching, be a hoe, be a hoe, be a hoe, fuck men, uh, whatever, it's all about us, y'all will turn her the fuck down. Straight up. So, uh, be right, not a hater. I'm out.